So, what did the US do? If, if, if it's worth looking at what they've been doing, um, I'll take you into that a little bit. Um, <clears throat> in 1996, sorry? Yeah. Well, I, I, that's a direct quote from the research. So it's or. Or, so yeah. It might be oh, sure. Males yeah. Or yep. Mine, yeah. Mine. yeah. Okay. So yeah, the U.S. reforms. Um, most of the U.S. reforms actually revolved around solo parents. And what they did was they had a benefit called the uh, Aid to Dependent Families with Children, which had been uh, created way back in 1935. And they replaced that with a new benefit called Temporary Assistance for Needy Families. I think the fact that they put the word in there, temporary, uh, really embodies the intent of the new policy and that was to change the expectation that welfare was something that was um, long term, it was something going to be in the future, something that was temporary. So what they did was they got the funding, uh, the federal, federal government funds the states, they fund the majority of the spending on welfare for families. Prior to 1996 the funding um, was matched to need and after 1996 they turned it into a block grant and what they did was they said to the states, each individual state, you can have the flexibility now to use that money to the best, thank you, to the best um, end. Uh, that means that they, instead of paying cash assistance out, they began to pay out, they began to spend more money in childcare, transportation, earned tax credits and so on to encourage people to remove the impediments, the barriers to work. So in, instead of concentrating on paying people cash, they started focusing on assistance in kind. And to increase the effectiveness of that approach, they also, they also introduced time limits. Now, the time limits w didn't have to apply to everybody. They were allowed, each state was allowed to exempt 20% 20, exempt 20 of their caseload. So there was some leeway there for people that were particularly difficult cases, children that were disabled and so on and so forth. And I have to stress too that the states can, can they have their own programs. They can do what they like with their own programs and a lot of them um, were, were able to extend time limits for people. But you, the states could not use federal funding to allow people to stay on welfare for any longer than five years. So the results of, um, of that, you can see there, around five million families when it peaked in 1993, um, has dropped down to around two million by 2004. At this stage, it's still, they're still below two million and you, you, the natural question is why hasn't it gone back up in the recession? Um, interestingly, in, in the United States, if you're attached to the workforce, you have unemployment insurance. And a lot of mothers that were in the AFDC caseload, once they got jobs, they qualified for unemployment insurance. So they may be unemployed at the moment, but they're not appearing in this group here. However, unemployment rates for single mothers are still quite a way below what they were back in the early 90s before reform and poverty is well under what it was back in the early 90s as well. Um, crime did not go up and I mention that because a lot of the, a lot of the opposition to the quite radical reforms was, was that crime would go up and child um, child poverty would go up, abuse would go up and so on and, and actually none of those things have come to pass. The crime rate is, is tracking down. Thank you. Um, but it would, be, it would be misleading to say that it's worked for all families. There are some um, people, there are some mothers that are, find, uh, are finding they are in greater hardship other members in their families have gone on to benefits or have gone on to work to support the family. Um, 
However, on, in, in every general sense of the word, in terms of poverty, unemployment, generally the outcomes have been good. And when we're looking at policy, really policies should be formed around, universal policies should be formed around general outcomes and should aim to improve the lot of most people over time. I was actually going to touch on, if I've got just another couple of moments, we've, we've already talked, we've heard a lot through the couple of days about the various policies, but um, Australia, yep, yeah, it's pretty much what we've been told. Um, there was actually, there has been quite a, a drop in the number of solo parents um, between the time that the reform was introduced. I do have some stats here if I can find them. No, I don't have them here. There was about a 20% drop anyway, you would be able to confirm that. There's about a 20% drop um, of solo parents who were on their parenting payment. Um, However, some of the drop is due to people being deflected onto the New Start Allowance, the unemployment benefit. Um, and I've got some information about the United Kingdom. Again, the work testing has dropped to 10 and it will reduce to 7 in October this year. The, the UK, they're not doing what the Australians um, did with the grandfathering. They're just, they're, they are moving people over straight away. Once they, go in, once they come under the work testing regi regime, um, they move on to the job seeker allowance, which is the equivalent of the unemployment benefit. I haven't actually identified a big drop in single parents on income support in the UK. It hasn't really moved yet. So, in conclusion, um, my feeling is that the US actually provides the most relevance for New Zealand giving up, given our population makeup and the problem that we're dealing with in terms of very high teenage birth rates. You know, we, we looked at, um, the other presenters talked about Finland and Norway and um, Denmark. Those countries haven't got the problem with teenage birth, so they don't have that pathway in to the benefit system that we're grappling with. And um, finally, because each state in America is now able to design its own system within the bounds of federal legislation, and Native American tribes are given the option to run their own programs, I think we're thinking here about Whānau Ora, then there is really now a, a fortuitous opportunity to examine what actually works. That's it, thank you.